Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today I will show you how we can create a winter scene in Adobe Photoshop CC. Because I am a Creative Cloud subscriber, I will be using the latest version of Adobe Photoshop CC. It's Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. Also, I will be using Adobe Paper Texture Pro and Wacom Tablet. First of all, I have created my document with white background and now I will create my uh, uh, sky. So to create my sky, I will use Adobe Paper Texture Pro. You can use any texture you want to. I would like to create something more artistic and bright. Um, I can bring down opacity of my uh, Adobe Paper Texture Pro layer, just like that. And now I will um, cre uh, create empty layer and I will fill out this uh, layer with white background. Using free transform tool, I will resize my layer just like that and using a warp tool i will um create kind of snow effect just let me see just like that yeah i like it uh also i would like to apply blur um filter you can uh use any blur you want to uh, apply any blur you want to just let's see just like that and um, now I will create uh, another empty layer and I will use a uh, tree filter to create um, our tree. You can use any tree you want to. I will, I will use a redwood for today and I will um, bring down a leaf's amount. I will uh, bring down a leaf's size. Just about this size and also i will switch to advanced mode and i will change um, color for uh, my leaves you can change um, your leaves color to any color you want to i will use a white color because i would like to create a snow effect just like that and click ok because I created my tree uh, using a, a separate layer, I can modify my uh, layer in any way I want to. Using free transfer tool, I will resize and I will move my um, tree just like that. And now I would like to create a sky effect, a uh, cloud effect. So I will highlight my snow layer and I will use... Um, sky a shape a uh, cloud shape i'm sorry with a white color also i will apply a motion blur filter convert to smart object of course i will increase distance and i will bring down opacity of this layer also i will duplicate this layer and i will move my uh, second cloud to another uh, side of my tree and also i will bring down opacity of this cloud just like that now uh, i can uh create a snowflake uh using a custom shape tool let's see what snowflake i would like to use this one just like that uh, and i will uh, duplicate my snowflake layer and i will move a snowflake and one more time and voila now also i i can create a kind of um snowfall effect using um, a custom shape tool let's try mm. let's try this one just like that I will resize it using free transform tool and I will use um, a motion blur convert to smart object of course I will change angle and I will duplicate uh, my layer I will move it I will duplicate one more time and I will move one more time so now what i can do uh, i can uh, duplicate a few more times to create a snowflake effect uh, a snowfall effect just like that 
and one more time. Now uh, I will apply a color lookup. Let's try a um, crisp winter look and I will bring down opacity of my adjustment. Because I apply adjustment as a separate layer, I can modify this adjustment layer in any way I want to. Also, I will apply um, curves adjustment, again, as a separate layer. And I will bring down opacity of my adjustment layer. And voila! Oh, one more time. I would like to create more um, smooth effect of my um, tree. So let me um, select my tree layer. I will uh, create layer mask. And using a gradient tool with opacity about uh, 43 with black color, I will paint out some part of my tree. Just like that. I like it. So guys, we have created our winter uh, theme uh, in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. Uh, we used Adobe Paper Texture Pro, um, Filter Tree, and also Custom Shapes. Thank you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.